Hello everybody, this is Stringham back for part two of the last 16 round. And we have got four beautiful matches to go before our quarterfinal begins. So let's check them out, shall we? So up first we have got the champ Mastrician going up against Dexin. Then it is going to be Dino Smash taking a crack at LB Gauzy. Moving on down here, we have got Team Argentina going up against Team Allo. Which of the newcomers will make the quarters? And to conclude the last 16 round, we got a really intriguing clash between Muan and the 100%ers Black Beauty. So, let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with our first match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Moastrician, we have got the Omega Eel Carcaria. Okay, this is an interesting field for both our combatants, actually, because they both will get terrain advantage at some point. Moastrician with this Eel Carc, Dex in with the Fagonauts. <coughs> Clear my throat. <laughs> right, in the blue corner, for Dex in, we have got Uterata. Dexin enjoying a good tournament so far. Better than they did last year. And well, it, I, they do have a genuine chance, I feel, in this match. This team this team has winning pedigree. So I think it does have a genuine chance of getting pulling off the upset here. It's gonna be tough, of course it will be, but I think they could do it. But first things first, let's get the terrain hit over with. And oh of course it's a crit. <laughs> but he just realized. That's a big shot from Maastrician early on. Let's see how Dexon responds. Well, not very good because that's a crit. This has been a solid start from Maastrician so far. Dexon yet to fire a shot. And well, that's going to be 1 0 down, just like that, the Uteraptor goes down. <laughs> right then, coming in next for Dexter, we've got Spinosaurus. Will this Spinosaurus have any better luck than the, the Uteraptor did? Because it's been all Maastrician so far. You do feel Dexter will need to get some hits quick before this match really gets away from them. There's a six. Oh, that's a tie. Well, at least he landed damage. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> of course, the tie recovery effect activates. But yeah, that bar is getting worryingly full for Daxon. Perspective. And that's another hit from Maastricia. I think we're probably going to see some Omega armor in this match, which is really not good for Daxon. Okay, it does trigger the Hydro Cutter, though. A Hydro Cut that is exactly what Dexin needs, but they just cannot get a hit in this match. There's another tie, and you know what that means. It is Omega Armor time. And now Maastrician has a big opportunity. Well, here's a big chance to go 2-0 up. And the Eel Karkiri has barely been hit, so... Dexin will need a few hits to get... to bring it down. And oh my god, he won't even get one. This is really not looking good for Daxin. Total domination from Maastrician in this match. And that is going to down the Spinosaurus. And it's all up to Sorofactus. Now, Daxin will get the next hit because they do get terrain advantage. So th that is a saving grace, but yeah, things are very, looking very bleak for our Dark Horse in this tournament, in this match. Okie dokie, coming in third for Dax and we have got a Sorrow Faganax. And yeah, unless this Sorrow Faganax pulls off the biggest of miracles, I think this is going to be the end for Dax in this tournament. Now, well, it does have, it does hit really hard, I will say that, that is a saving grace. Like honestly, I feel so bad for Dexon in this match. I just I just want to give him like the crit instead of that of a normal terrain hit, but I can't do that. <laughs> Come on, at least take out the Faganax. The tie. Come on, give him the hit, give him the hit. 
Okay, there's a hit. That's his first actual shot of this match, besides the terrain hit. Okay. Give him another hit. That's a tie. Of course, the tie recovery happened, too. Okay, that's a crit. Eel Karkaria finally going down. Of course, you do feel the damage has been done already. But at least Dexon's not going to get 3 nailed. Right then, coming in next for Maastricia, we've got the Blitz type Spinosaurus, so you know the deal. It's going to go for those two Blitz crits. And well, if it gets one of them off, it will probably be game over for Dexon. Not officially, but realistically. But if Dexon can survive both of them and maybe get sneak a cheap shot, maybe, just maybe, we could see the, the extraordinary comeback of all comebacks. Right, crit number one. Okay, that's a tie. Crit number two is also a tie. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, nope, nope. Back to Maastrician hits. <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad, though. We won't do too much damage. The tech boost's going to come in. No Aqua Javelin, thankfully, for Dax's sake. Come on, give him a crit. Give him a crit. Give him a crit. Nope. Nope. That's it. That's going to do it. I think that's Dax in out of the tournament. Oh, hang on. No, he survived. No, of course. Of course he gets Aqua Javelin. <laughs> I mean, he got the tech boost, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, my God. Yeah. And Maastrician's next hit would have been a crit, so whether he got off the Aqua Javelin or not, it wouldn't have made a difference. Maastrician wins. Dexin goes out. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. And yeah, I thought this match would be closer, but anyway, on to our next match. Right, in the red corner, representing Dino Smash, we have got a Taurosaurus. Well, Dino Smash have been smashing up opponents so far in this tournament. And I will say... I do make them the favourite in this match. Mainly because of that freaking Eel Karkaria in second. <laughs> right, in the blue corner for Elton Gozzi, we have got Terry. Well, Gozzi's no stranger to an upset, pulled off a surprise victory against Drogon in the last 32 rounds. Can they pull off another surprise against Dino Smash? Now, I will say, Gothi does have the tools, I feel, to deal with that Eel Karkiria better than most. So I will say that. A death and a death fire on that Eel Kark. If it does happen, if we do get to that scenario, goes through defense boost. Crimson Flame goes through defense boost. And it is Gothi getting the first shot of the match. And while speaking of defense boost, there it is. Let's have a look. Ooh, going for that crit. Gozzi does not want to get hit by that crit. We all know Taurosaurus hits really hard. Oh, and some self-advertising. You should check out the Shorts channel, because there might be a Taurosaurus on there. Cut there up two days ago. Well, three days ago. I can't remember. Six. Ooh, okay, that's a good hit from Dino Smash. That's going to activate the attack burst as well. This Taurosaurus is going to be stacked up in a attack power. Okay, the damage wasn't great. But an electric charge as well. Massive hit from Dino Smash. I'm probably going to double the damage of those two moves at the bottom. But Gozzi does get that next hit. Oh wow, the Taurosaurus barely survived. Wow, the heal buff from the electric charge actually making a difference here. And it will because... Taurosaurus gets the next hit. This hit wouldn't be happening. Of course, then again, oh, that triggers the death fire, which is even better for Dino Smash because that means that Gozzi will not get a chance at a death fire on the Eel Karkaria. Good hit there from Dino Smash. Now, he probably would have preferred. Oh, yeah, there you go. Gozzi would have got the death fire off. If it weren't for that electric charge earlier, Gozzi would be getting this death fire off on the Eel Karkaria and he'd be 2 0 up. But because the Taurosaurus survived, because of the electric charge, the death fire is wasted. Good move from Dino Smash. Right, coming in next for Dino Smash, we've got Eel Karkaria Omega Armor, of course. Can Dino Smash take advantage of that? 
and that's it. He would have got a he would have got a crit with this eel Karkiria, but it, again, it wouldn't have mattered because the death fire would have activated, one shot this thing, Gozzy be two 0 up. But instead, they only one 0 up. Can Dino Smash take advantage of that? Ooh, no, it's Gozzy getting another hit. This is good from Gozzy so far. They can chip away at this Eel Karkiria, gives Ceratosaurus not too much work to do. I think they'll take that. It goes a tie. Two. Oh, that's another hit. Dino Smash not really getting going at the minute. Struggling to really get some consecutive hits on the board. Okay, there's a hit. You know what's good. You know what's coming next. Attack boost, defense boost, technique boost, everything boost. And that will be Curtin's for Terry. But I would probably take this situation for Gozzi. A decent lead. The Eocarcaria has taken a decent, a bit of damage. It shouldn't be too hard to bring down. Right, coming in next for Elton Gozzi, we've got a Super Ceratosaurus, Awaken Mode on 4. Well, it's been a super impressive asset for Gozzi so far in this tournament. Will it continue to impress? Oh, oh it does get the first shot, an attack boost coming as well, that's going to help. They'll probably nullify the defense boost that the Eocarcaria is using. That's a tie. Can Dino Smash land a big shot with this Eocarcaria? Oh, he's not going to. Instead, is Gozzi getting another hit. The attack boost maxing up. This is so good from LP Gozzi so far. And Dino Smash. Really struggling to just get going. Right then, coming in third for Dino Smash, we've got Rotlocephalus. He's going to have to do some, his fair share of work here if Dino Smash is going to pull this back. Now, Rotlocephalus is a solid ass acquisition, so we won't count Dino Smash out yet. Okay, so one. That's a four, that's a tie. That's another tie. Really, Dino Smash just cannot get some, cannot get anything going. And it's another hit from Gozzi. Okay, here we go. Here's a crit, but the Dino Stuffer is going to come in. It's going to nullify that crit. That crit was exactly what Dino Smash needed to get back in this contest, but... The Dino Stuffer paying off there for Elty Gozzi. That's another type. Dino Smash just needs something and needs something quick. And that's a crit. I think that's going to be lethal. It's going to be lethal. It's going to be Elty Gozzi's victory. And they go through to the quarterfinal to take on Maastrician. And Dino Smash is gone. Well, that was unexpected. Right, on to our third match now. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Team Argentina, we've got Macrosaurus. Um, okay, we don't have any lightning types in this matchup, so there's uh, no touring advantages. Team Argentina looking solid, especially in their last two matches where they've had been really impressive. Got off some clutch plays, I should say. <laughs> Anyway, coming in the blue corner for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus Fragilus. It's a Blitz type, so you know the deal. It's going to get off those two Blitz crits. Well, it's going to go for them. It's not necessarily going to get them. And yet, Team Allo been another impressive newcomer in this tournament, topping their respective group. Can they make... Can either of these two make a deep run in this tournament? Well, one of them's going to get to the quarters, at least. Right, first things first, blitz crit number one. Oh, and Team Allo gets it. It's a banana surprise. Not the start you want if you're Team Argentina. Oh, wow, I did do some damage. Right, crit number two. Oh, he gets it. Well, just like that, Mapusaurus going down. And it is 1-0 to Team Allo. 
quick as you can see. Blitz type. Oh no! <laughs> and not a good start at all for Team Argentina. Well, coming in next for Team Argentina, we got Carnotaurus. Well, they've been rattled by those two big blitz crits, but can they rally back? Carnotaurus, speaking of crits, very hard hitting crit of his own. Hmm. Well, Team Argentina have pulled some rabbits out the hat in recent matches, I should say, like the Aqua Vortex against Kaz would remove the type advantage and then they got the big hit. <laughs> I think the dino stuff that they got against Morsler. Crazy times. Badoosh. But that's another crit from Team Allo. What a star from Team Allo. Okay, yep, Team Argentina finally caught on and going for the rock hit. And that was a wise hit there because they do get their first shot of the match. Tie bomb coming in. What they really need is a hurricane beat here. That would be very ideal. But they're not going for it. Instead, opting to go for paper for some reason. Leaving themselves open to yet another crit, but this time Team Allo doesn't go for it. Gets a tie bomb. Interesting turn of events. Okay, now he's going for the crit. Oh, that's a tie. So you know what that means? Those bombs are going to blow. Oh, I almost took out the Allosaurus. I thought I thought he was going to take out the Allosaurus, but apparently he didn't. Oh, and, <laughs> and now they get the crit. Oh, they don't because the tag team's going to come in here. I forgot about that. Papasaurus is going to nullify this hurricane beat. Allosaurus still alive and kicking. But again, Team Argentina could have done with that crit a few turns ago. This Allosaurus would be dead. Ah, oh, there goes the Papasaurus. Okay, that's a five. And that is also a five. So that is a tie and Allosaurus goes down. But it definitely put in a good chef. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Will it be able to pick up with a Carno left with the uh, Al Fragilis left off? Let's we'll see. And it is lucky seven type, so it will. Uh, I will try to hit the button on seven. <laughs> we have some one-sided matches so far. They're not really what I like, but oh well. And that's another hit, an Alpha dice. Okay, let's see what this lands on. Okay, a three. That's not too bad. I think Carnotaurus. Oh wow, it is going to survive. But the tiniest sliver, and that does trigger the Hurricane Beat. But again, Team Argentina not opting to go for it. And well, it paid off there because they do get the next hit. A tie bomb coming in, but I don't think the tie bombs are going to blow because the Carnotaurus is on such low health and it will die during the tie. Okay, here we go. Oh, but Team Allo gets the hit. It's a power drain. Carnotaurus is going down. And Team Allo retain their lead. Right then, coming in third for Team Argentina, we got Saltosaurus. Well, this Saltosaurus has definitely pulled some rabbits out the hat in recent matches. It really has. Whether it be Aqua Vortex, Ocean Panic, or Dino Stuffer, this guy has played his part. And well, it's gonna have to pull off one hell of a rabbit out of a big ass hat if Team Argentina are gonna win this match. Oh, that's not ideal. That's gonna be a hurricane beat. And even though this Atrox's paper and scissors move aren't very strong. Hurricane Beat will still do damage. Let's have a look. Oh, crikey, that did do some damage. Massive hit from the Atrox. And yet, that's another hit. If this is a six, this is going to be game over for Team Argentina. Oh, it's a five. Okay, it might survive this. Well, it should. Oh, crikey, he killed it! 
Well, just like that, Saltasaurus is dispatched and Team Allo march onto the quarters. Well, th well, they have had a really good tournament so far, Team Allo, and they, they could definitely go all the way. Right then, on to our final match of the last 16 round. Right, in the red corner, representing Man, we have got a Soro Faganax. Man enjoying yet another tourna good tournament so far. Looking to build on their third place finish last year. Will they be able to better it? In the blue corner for Black Beauty, we have got the Super Eel Carcaria with the mode on free. And well, Black Beauty's already better in last year's showing where they got knocked out of the last 32 round. And well, what a tournament Black Beauty's having. The form team at the minute, now that MEJP10 is gone. Eight wins in a row. And if they do win here, they will match a tournament record of nine consecutive wins in a single tournament, which was set by Maastrician and Nirvan last year. So plenty at stake here. Gets a six. Oh, and they do get the first shot of the match at the power drain. Gonna shuck eat your life out of the Faganax. Gets once. Okay, that's another tie. That's another tie. Oh, that's going to be curtains for Sorrow Faganax, I think. The Eocart gets that hit. Oh, it's not. The Faganax clings on. And the tag team is in effect now, so... Ah, here we go. Eocart Kyria is going to get the next hit, but the tag team is going to stop it doing damage. And that could be crucial because it is awakening time. Now, unless a tie happens... Black Beauty won't be able to get a chance at an awakened hit on the Taurosaurus. Let's have a look. Okay, they do get the hit, so the Sphagnax does go down, but the awaken mode is probably wasted here. So I don't think Man will be too bothered by that, but what they will be bothered by is the fact that they haven't been able to fire a shot in this match yet. Well, that needs to change. And coming in next for Man, we have got the Taurosaurus, and this thing has been an absolute brute in recent matches. That stomping hammer has been lethal. And a big stomping hammer here could get Man right back in this contest. Now the saving grace is that the Eocard will lose half his health because it did use its, uh, the Awaken mode. So that is a saving grace. Can Man take advantage of that? Okay, they, is it first shot of the match? Attack boost going to activate. Finally, Man gets a hit. Okay. Oh, that's a tie. I mean, it doesn't matter if he gets a grit. The Eocark is on such low health, it's going to die no matter what it gets hit by. So, another tie. Okay, there's a hit. That's going to max up the attack boost. That could come in handy. Man pulling his back. Right, coming in next for Black Beauty, we have got the Blitz-type Brachyceratops. And I have to say, this little fella's been so, so impressive so far in this tournament. It's definitely contributed to Black Beauty's success. And I will say, because it's Blitz-type, it obviously has to go for the two Blitz crits and his crit is paper. That is going to stop Man from getting his crit with the Taurosaurus. And this Brachyceratops has Dino Stuffer as well. So for at least three turns, Taurosaurus cannot get a crit. And there is our first blitz shot from the Brachyceratops. Can they get another one? Okay, no it won't, but that's a tie. Oh, but that's Taurosaurus down. No big crit this time from Man. Taurosaurus bites the dust and Black Beauty... Oh, I, oh no, the dive. <laughs> oh, we forget about that. Well, here's a dude we haven't seen for a while. Coming in third for Man, we got a Parasaurus. Been a while since we've seen this guy. And well, can it pull this back for Man? Because right now, Black Beauty is well on top. 
unlock set, unlock set to make it nine in a row. That's another crit, that's not what man wants. And Onion Gear dive to come as well. I have to say, the Cracky Ceratops has been so good. Really unexpected twist. No, there's another head. Yeah, this is looking bleak for man. And one hit and they're done. Can man come back from this? Okay, there's a hit. Finally, <laughs> Type I'm gonna come in, but that might work against Man because this Brachyceratops does have the Plasma Anchor. And the pl well, the Plasma Anchor hit ends this match. Let's have a look. Oh well, there's the Dino stuff for that crit. Would have been lethal for Brachyceratops. But that crit's gonna stop it. Oh, here's a tie. But it's a Plasma Anchor, and that Plasma Anchor is going to do it. It's going to be nine wins out of nine for Black Beauty in this tournament. And they go through to the quarterfinals to play against Team Allo. And as for Marm, they bow out. Kind of in, kind of in a whimper, to be honest. I thought, they, I thought this match would be closer. But I think all the matches in this session have been not very close. Oh well. Right, let's have a look at our quarterfinal lineup, and we'll end our session. Right, that is how our table looks, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see our quarterfinal lineup has been finished, and we are down to our last eight. So we'll go through the new matches first. So over here it's going to be Maastrichtian going up against LP Gauzy, the earning a reputation, you know, LP Gauzy for the, the upsets they pulled off against Dino Smash and Drogon, respectively. And well, can they pull off the ultimate upset against Maastrichtian? And down here we're going to have. Very confusing matchup between Team Aloe and Black Beauty because they got very similar profile picks. Can Team Aloe put an end to Black Beauty's winning streak? Well, that's, an, that's a question to answer in the quarterfinal round. But for now, we're going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta!